Ben Stiller and Christine Taylor's love story may not be perfect, but they recently surprised fans with news that nobody had expected. They're getting back together. Sure, it's nice. I mean, it's always nice when people like something that you've done. After announcing that they were separated back in 2017, fans were shocked, and no doubt the couple's two children were heartbroken by the news. Who would have thought that an international pandemic that tore so many families apart would be the one thing that brought Ben and Christine back together? Stiller and Taylor met while filming a 1999 TV plot called Heat Vision and Jack, which unfortunately never made it to air. But the show's lack of success didn't matter, because Ben was too busy being distracted by Christine. For the actor, it was love at first sight. When I met her, I pretty much thought, that's the person. It was like, wow, this is a great person. I love her. Ben swooned over their first meeting. It didn't take long for the pair to start dating, and soon Ben proposed. Stiller also revealed in the interview that his relationship with Taylor was a gradual thing that happened over a quick period of time, maybe seven or eight months. We just started hanging out with each other and it developed. The couple had a beach wedding in Hawaii in May of 2000. It was clear to everyone that their chemistry was fiery and they were a hilarious comedy duo. And why people love them so much today is, is just how relatable it is even today. They even went on to star alongside one another in Zoolander, with Taylor playing Stiller's love interest in the film. Their romance was a Hollywood hit, and by 2002, the couple welcomed their first child, a daughter, Ella. Three years later, Taylor gave birth to the couple's son, Quinn. Over the next few years, it all seemed like smooth sailing for Ben and Christine, and things couldn't have been going better. Uh, listen, I, you know, I'm his biggest fan, so no one deserves it more. However, no one had any idea of the real battles the couple was facing behind closed doors. In 2016, Ben sat down for an exclusive interview with Howard Stern, and the actor revealed that he had been diagnosed with prostate cancer. At first, I didn't know what was going to happen. I was scared. It just stopped everything in your life because you can't plan for a movie because you don't know what's going to happen, Ben confessed. He had secretly fought the battle against the deadly disease, but decided that he was ready to talk about it because if it wasn't for the test he had done, he might not have caught his cancer in time. Stiller explained that prostate cancer is one of the most deadly forms of the disease, but if diagnosed on time, it's also one of the most curable. I wanted to talk about it because of the PSA test. I feel like the test saved my life. Yeah, I mean, I was really fortunate, you know, that uh, my course of treatment was basically, uh, you know, an operation, and, uh, and that was it. Surprisingly, the first person that Ben called after he got his test results was Robert De Niro. The first thing I did when I got diagnosed was get on the internet to try to learn. I saw De Niro had had it. I called him right away, he explained. When the actor had to break the news to his two children, I told them I had something I had to deal with. They were pretty cool with it. While his kids might have been cool with it, there's no doubt that his family took strain after his diagnosis, most of all his wife. Ben later underwent surgery to have his prostate removed. If there was one thing that this frightening news taught him, it was gratitude. Ben confessed, afterwards, it just gives you an appreciation for life. All those priorities sort of change when you get down to it, which is, I want to be alive. In an even more shocking turn of events, less than a year after Ben opened up about his diagnosis, the couple announced that they were separating. They released in a shared statement, with tremendous love and respect for each other and the 18 years we spent together as a couple, we have made the decision to separate. Our priority will continue to be raising our children as devoted parents and the closest of friends. We kindly ask that the media respect our privacy at this time. While they never give a clear reason why they were splitting, fans were able to put a couple of the puzzle pieces themselves together and get an idea of why the couple was no longer a pair. Some thought that the difficulty of Ben's cancer diagnosis was the reason. Other sources claimed that Ben Stiller can be very difficult to deal with and Christine Taylor may have struggled to put up with him. However, as time went on, the couple never filed any divorce papers. This only made fans wonder if perhaps Ben and Christine were planning on working things out. They continued to support one another and their family in the public eye, attending events with their kids and, at one point, holding hands during an outing to see the Pretty Woman musical in 2018. An insider close to the couple revealed that Ben blamed himself for the rough patch and had started to wonder if he didn't put enough work into the relationship. In fact, some suggest that Ben purposely stuck close by in the hopes that Christine would change her mind. 
Though their split was announced as mutual, rumors swirled about Ben not being over his wife and wanting to work things out. As the gloom of the international pandemic rolled in and the world had to go into quarantine, Christine invited Ben to come and live with her and the kids so that their family wouldn't have to be separated. They were reunited, living together as a family for the first time in two years, without the distractions of work stress. Then something magical happened. They apparently fell back in love with each other. In his most recent interview, Ben announced that he and Christine had rekindled their marriage after separating nearly five years ago. The actor shared, We were separated and got back together and we're happy about that. It's been really wonderful for all of us unexpected, and one of the things that came out of the pandemic. As it turns out, neither of them had even dated other people while they'd been separated, and a close source to the couple revealed that their friends had always known that they'd get back together. Maybe that was why they never filed divorce papers, because they knew that deep down that they had always loved each other and they were going to find a way to figure things out. While they were apart from one another, they were able to focus on their friendship and even spend time together, just the two of them. While they were in quarantine, it only reiterated that they were meant to be together. Over the last two years, they were able to mend the things that were broken and gain a newfound respect for one another. I think we have a respect for the ways that were similar and the ways that were different, and I think accepting that. You can really appreciate someone more because you're not trying to get them to change for you," Ben explained. The actor explained that once he accepted Christine for who she was and all the things he couldn't change about their relationship, he was able to put more energy into their marriage. They were finally able to trust each other in ways that they had never done before, and everything clicked. So after 22 years together, Ben and Christine are still going strong. In fact, they're probably stronger than ever. Who would have thought that an international pandemic would have been the thing to reignite a marriage and bring two people back together? We can't help but be surprised by it, especially considering how marriages in Hollywood have a pretty short shelf life. But these two have proven that they're the exception to the rule, and we couldn't be happier for them.